What's up guys, Tony Maritato here. In this Medicare Minute episode, we're gonna talk about the difference between a PTAN and an MPI. So an MPI is your National Provider Identifier. The PTAN is the Provider Transaction Access Number. So what's really the difference? Let's jump on the screen and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So according to CMS, the MPI is different from the PTAN. The MPI is issued by the National Plan and Provider Enumeration System. It was developed by CMS to comply with HIPAA administrative simpli simplification provisions for standard transactions. Basically, you can apply and receive a national provider identifier without being part, without being enrolled in the Medicare system. If you are submitting out-of-network claims, if you're giving super bills to clients, you will need an MPI so that the payer can identify you within the system of healthcare providers. The PTAN, P-T-A-N, that is your Medicare provider number. Now that's specific to Medicare. You as an in individual, if you were working in a Part B facility, will have your own PTAN, and then the group will have its own PTAN. And typically what happens in Part B outpatient PTOT speech, you would reassign your personal PTAN to the group so that when you submit, when a claim is submitted for you, uh, for services rendered, the claim is submitted with your NPI, the group's NPI, and payment will be forwarded to the group. So the big difference here is PTAN is Medicare specific, whereas the MPI is national. Guys, this was Medicare Minute. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe, share this information. I'll see you in the next episode.